Introduction to the Practice of Statistics. Lesson Objectives. Lesson Objective number three, distinguish between qualitative and quantitative variables. And number four, distinguish between discrete and continuous variables. We will begin with Lesson Objective number three. Variables are characteristics of individuals within a population. We're going to classify these variables as qualitative, quantitative. Qualitative, or sometimes known as categorical variables, allow for some classification of individuals based upon some attribute or characteristic. For example, eye color, favorite type of music, the town that you live in, all these are categories. Quantitative variables provide a numerical measure of an individual, so these are numbers. Operations such as addition and subtraction can be performed on these quantitative variables in a way where they would provide meaningful results. For example, height, weight are quantitative variables. The distance that you live away from Cincinnati State is also a quantitative variable. All quantitative variables are numbers, but not all numbers are quantitative. For example, Social Security numbers are not quantitative. If we take one person's Social Security number and add another person's Social Security number, we may not necessarily get a new Social Security number. Another example would be zip codes. One zip code minus another zip code may not equal a new zip code. Let's look at some examples. This researcher studied some factors that affected the eating habits of adults in their mid-30s. We're going to classify each of these factors as qualitative or quantitative. Nationality, not a number. These are categories, so the answer would be qualitative. The number of children, okay, that can be a number, and that number we can perform operations on. So this would be quantitative. Household income from the previous year relative to the nearest dollar. Again, this is a number. We can perform operations on it. It's quantitative. Level education would be an example, high school graduate, college graduate, master's, PhD. These are categories, quantitative. Daily intake of whole grains, okay, that's a number, and those numbers we can do operations on, so this is quantitative. Lesson objective number four, distinguish between discrete and continuous variables. A discrete variable is a quantitative variable that has a finite number of possible values or it has a countable number of possible values. The term countable means that the values from counting, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so on. So an example of a discrete variable would be the number of cars that you own, the number of floors in a building, the number of CDs that you own, the number of students in a classroom. The other type is what we call continuous. Again, it's quantitative variable, but it has an infinite number of possible values, and it can take on or be measured to any level of accuracy, so we can have decimals and fractions. Examples of continuous variables would be height, weight, the time it takes you to get to Cincinnati State. The key is with continuous, we can have decimals and we can have fractions whatever level of accuracy that we want. And one general way to tell data is continuous, ask yourself, can it take on values that are fractions or decimals? If your answer is yes, it's usually continuous. This type of data is usually associated with some kind of physical measurement. Okay, let's look at some examples. Again, we're going back to the eating habits of adults in their mid-30s. The number of children. Now, this is discrete or continuous. Well, you can't have two and a fourth number of kids, or you can't have 6.31 kids. This is discrete. Household income in the previous year rounded to the nearest dollar. This is discrete. Daily in intake of whole grains measured in grams per day. This would be an example of continuous. We can measure that to whatever degree of accuracy that we want. So for example we could get 20.3 grams per day or we could get 20.346 grams per day and therefore it's continuous. Now here's a nice little flow chart. A variable can be classified as qualitative or quantitative. If it is quantitative, a number, then it can be separated into either discrete or continuous. Okay, let's look at some data and classify it as discrete or continuous. Okay, you may want to pause this. The answers are in the next slide. Here's the answers. A is discrete. Number of suitcases lost must be a whole number. You can't lose two and a half suitcases. B is continuous. Height is a physical measurement and we can take it to whatever decimal place we would like. C is discrete. The number of ears of corn must be a whole number. D is discrete. The number of green M&Ms must be a whole number. E is continuous. The amount of time can take on infinitely many values, so any decimal is possible. And F is continuous. 
weight of the tomatoes are a physical measurement and they can take on any decimal place. Thanks for watching.